that's all. Hi everyone welcome back to my channel so this is the 7th of september and this is kotoka international airport my bags were overweight so i had to call my sister to take some of the things back home i realized i didn't have my yellow fever shirt so i had to take it at the airport so please if you're traveling make sure you take your shots before you get to the airport because they charge me like double the price <laughs> That's all. So after the shot, I headed out to form the queue to check my bags in. After which, I went straight to immigration to do the extra checks. So after I checked my bags in, I was so hungry because we left home very early in the morning. I decided to get something to eat. I met this guy. He told me they were selling some nice meals in the restaurant. So just so you know, after you check your bags in, you can get something to eat before you bought the flight. So he told me they had fried yam, samosas, kelly really, some grilled chicken, and it was looking so yummy. <laughs> Okay, give me uh, and a fried yam. What's the feeling for the samosa? For the samosa is beef, but uh, Give me one samosa. So I just finished checking in. I just want to eat something. Starve them. Starving, proper starving. So, have everything here. Your girl is going to Canada. I can't believe today. <laughs> Let me just sit down. So I later bought some donuts. I also went to the duty free shop. I bought some chocolate because I didn't know whether I was going to get hungry on the flight or not. So I bought a chocolate as well. I headed to my gate. I took a seat and then I decided to just look at planes fly off. And it was really interesting to see how nice they were looking because that was my first time on the plane and i was just trying to figure out how the experience was going to be like so that's ethiopian air and i was just enjoying the view <laughs> so after a while it was time for me to board i headed to the gate and there was a queue there so i joined that was my gate c4 I joined the queue and they checked all our documents, our passports, our plane tickets to ensure that we were at the right gate and they allowed us to get on board the plane. I was really excited to enter the plane because that was my first time as I said earlier and I was eager to experience how it was. Yeah, it was really nice. <laughs> So we were now on board. I could see the airport outside and it was really nice. I'll always remember the first few minutes the plane took off. It was so beautiful. The aerial view was stunning. 
I had a funny feeling in my tummy. I was dizzy for a few minutes, but it was good. They later gave us this earpiece um, in case you wanted to listen to anything on the plane. And this was the moment that it hit me that I was leaving home. I was sad. I was happy. It was just a mixture of feelings. It was all good. <laughs> I, this was the pastry I bought at the airport. So I decided to eat that. They later brought this food, guys. I don't know what this food was. There was bread. <laughs> There was this rice. I don't know what kind of rice this was. This food. Hmm. They gave us some pastry as well. I don't even know what this is. I don't know if it's donut or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> they also gave me some salads and a fruit drink as well. So I decided to eat. Hmm. Let me tell you, you guys, you should buy food before you get on the plane. <laughs> because this food was not nice but i finished the shot because <laughs> i'm hungry i should have bought something at the um duty free area before i mean i should have bought food at the duty free area before i got on board it wasn't really nice you can tell from the expression on my face however i finished it because i was so hungry and so yeah I don't know what they were trying to serve. I can see a sauce. I don't know what sauce that is, but well, that's <laughs> that's what you get um, with the airline that I booked. So yeah, it also gave me a cup of tea. So I decided to take that to at least push the rice down. <laughs> the tea was good actually. Well, afterwards, I decided to eat the pastry and. I don't know whether I was eating donuts or Rockies or it was just in between. <laughs> it was nice. It was sweet though. Just look at the sunset from the plane. It was beautiful. It was stunning. I loved it. So at the Cairo International Airport, I met another Ghanaian who was also going to Toronto and I decided to walk with her because we were both lost. <laughs> so we decided to tour the airport together because we had a four hours layover and we decided to look for our gate because we didn't know where exactly the gate was. We were just walking around and making videos and pictures because that was the first time we both um left our country so it was fun later we headed to our gate because it was time to board we both had different seat numbers so she headed to her seat and i also queued up um to get to my seat as well So the flight from Cairo to Toronto was around 16 hours. So they were given a souvenir, we were given blankets. And I also bought this chocolate at the Cairo airport. I'm still looking for it here. It's really nice. So that's the distance from Cairo to Toronto, like 9,000 kilometers. I later decided to watch a movie. I had to scroll through um, the selection that was given but unfortunately i didn't find anything i don't even know why but i didn't find any movie so i decided to put it back and go to bed so we were later given another souvenir this cute bag it contained a few goodies it contained some wipes cute it, it also contained another earpiece for your movies um on board it also contains travel size toothbrush and toothpaste which was really helpful when i got to toronto it also contained a pen in case you want to write something down nice it, there was also earplugs in the bag the later served as another meal um it also came with the pastry salad 
and rice with a fruit juice as well this rice was slightly better than the first one that was given to us on our flight <laughs> So I later found a movie to watch. I've honestly forgotten the title of this movie. Um, so I watched this for like three hours or so and I went back to sleep. <laughs> So after I woke up, it was time for another meal. Um, they gave us some bread, um, spread, and fried eggs. And the fried eggs was good. I mean, you can't go wrong with fried eggs, right? So yeah, it was really nice. At this point, I was so tired, I was ready to get off this plane because I've been on the plane for like 16 hours and it's exhausting.